Hey, how's it going? And today we're exploring adding a text screen to your game or whatever it is you're doing in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And this would allow you to provide instructions or story or whatever. So I think it has a lot of application. Anyway, to get started with this, I'm just in a blank island template. And we're just gonna come up here on the My Project folder. We're gonna right click. We're going to go to User Interface, Widget Blueprint. And we're going to pick this one, Modal Dialog Variant. I don't know where they come up with these names for these things. So anyway, I'm going to double click this and just dock up top. And this is just a standard user widget. I know it's kind of intimidating at first. You can use overlays or canvas panels, but the canvas panel is basically, you can think of it as an organizing structure for the elements. So you're just going to click and drag this onto this screen like that. Then hit your scroll wheel and turn out and click and drag it out to 1920 by 1080. And then you can kind of reposition it up here just by right clicking. You can kind of center it in your screen. And then we have our canvas panel. And here's our palette of things. This is very wonky in Unreal Editor for Fortnite compared to Unreal Engine. So it has very limited functionality. But the one thing that seems to really hook up and work well is just setting your text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this on. And I'm just making this stuff up because I just need some content to put in here. So I'm just going to say the story of Crumple or something. It doesn't matter what it is. But once I have this text on here, I can size it to fit. And then I can change the size of the font and make it the size of a title you know, like that, so I'm like, and then I can just click and drag it. And then if I want, I can select an anchor just to kind of anchor it. And you can see there's these offset positions and things like that. You can, this part's pretty intuitive. We can change the color here too. So like, let's say I want to make this red. I can drop this down and make it red, right? Like that. And there's other effects you can explore here. It's okay. Let me get back on here. And so that's going to be my title. Now I want more text, so then I'm going to drag this in here, and I can just set that in here, and just leave it size to contents fine. We can just leave everything like that. We don't want to make the text. And this is new to me, too, this functionality, and it's in beta in Unreal Engine. But what we can do, what's interesting about this, is we can come down here to View Bindings, and we can add this we could rename this like just to make it clear what it is so i could just hit f2 here and call this main body text or something like that and then i can select it here view bindings add that to here and now with this selected here like this it's added here it looks like an array is coming in i can add these controls here, these features here. The problem is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to a pop-up dialog device. So we only have access to what that has. That's almost going to be like our parent. And so we can't control more than what the pop-up dialog offers in the first place. And the main thing we want from the pop-up dialog is its text input fields. So what we're going to do is that's what we're going to connect to. We're going to connect this text here. This has more features than the pop-up dialog box does, right? So what we're going to do is you pop up and you see we have all these features. Well, the pop-up dialog box doesn't have all this stuff. It just has text. So that's what we're going to select. And that's what we care about, really. And then here we have a choice of communications and I got errors when I did it different ways. So I just went one way to widget seemed to work and that makes sense. Now what I can do is if I click here and I select this creative modal dialogue view model, it's going to give me access to all the things in the, or most of the things I should say, that are available on the pop-up dialog box. I don't know if you're familiar with the pop-up dialog box, but it has six buttons. And you'll see here, there's six buttons here. But these are all text. So you see how these are the fields on the pop-up dialog box, and these are the fields 
on our text here, you see how they don't match up? We can't link everything up. What we want to link up is this body. The reason we want this one, it is what allows us to input the most text. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then all we have to do is compile and save. Now we're going to jump over here and we have this widget. So what's going to happen now is if I go into devices and I'm going to search for a pop-up dialog box here, I'm going to drag this into the scene. Now what's going to happen is for on a limited scale, we're going to be able to use this interface that we just created, this one here, instead of the normal pop-up dialog interface that we see. We will be able to commandeer or take advantage of this text input field now, this one right here. The one that says description is the body. So now I can just write in whatever I wanted to write in. And this holds quite a bit of dialogue, so I can, I'm just going to make up some stuff here. It's be like the story of Crumple. Okay, whatever, you get the idea, right? Just some text, right? And this holds quite a bit. What we're going to have is if we scroll down a little bit more, I pick that widget. You'll see it right here. So now we're going to have that widget, this widget interface, and we're going to have this that we inputted here. It's going to take as input the text that I put in here. So we're sending this field. In addition to that, what it's doing is it's also taking the functionality of the pop-up device. One thing that the pop-up device does is when it shows it, it freezes up your screen, it takes control. So we need a way to control this because it freezes up play while it's on the screen. What we're going to do is we have to control it. So we're going to, we can do that with triggers and timers and all different kinds of things. I'm just going to start it on a player spawner. Here, on a player spawn, when the player spawns, we want this text screen to come up. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this other spawner. And then the last thing we need to do is some way to turn it off because we, don't, we won't have any input control. So what we have to do is just go get a trigger here, right here. And on the trigger is turn off the visual effects. And then we can have the trigger triggered at player spawn too. So you can think of player spawner as on begin play. So player spawn pad here. We're going to set a delay on here. And the delay is for however long we want the message to be on the screen. So let's say we want it to be on there for 10 seconds. We go 10 seconds. Okay. And then all we got to do is jump back on the pop-up device and hide it when the trigger gets activated, which will be after a 10 second delay. And that's it. So this is super cool because now you have the ability to add, create text screens and give story information, all kinds of information and control how long it's on the screen. And it also frees up the play during the time. So let's go ahead and launch this and see what happens. So what I was going to say is one thing you can do is that if you want to darken the background, you could bring in the day sequencer here and it would allow you to control the lighting in the scene so that you could dim it while your text is on the screen and then time that out. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.